Hi everyone, um, I think some of you know me anyway. I'm John Dempster and I'm the um, Immunology and Allergy Advanced Nurse Practitioner at University College London Hospital. Um, and I've been asked to present to you today on keeping fit and healthy to help HAE. So I'd like to start um, just also by saying thank you for inviting me here today and to give this presentation. I'd like to talk about the importance of healthy living um, if you've got HAE. I think it's extremely important for you to live your life to the full because um, research now shows the people um, who have access to treatment and good effective treatment um, for HAE um, can lead a normal um, and healthy lifespan. Um, we want you to take charge of your HAE um, and not let it take charge of you. We want you to be in control and you to be empowered in order to have um, the best life that you possibly can. Don't live in the past, but look to the future because the future is looking very bright and very rosy now um, compared to possibly how it was in the past. We have some great treatment options now which will help you to lead as normal and healthy a life as possible. Um, some of you might know that we've got good, really good prevention treatments now, which is basically some patients have said have has normalized their lives. Um, and it's the first time that they've felt that they've, you know, been living a normal life for the first time in 40 years, for example. Um, so it's looking really good and really bright, the future. Um, and all of these things will help you to have an increased quality of life. Um, one important um, step or one important thing that I would say in be leading a healthy life in HAE is that you need to be um, really prepared and really organised in terms of keeping on top of your treatment um, regimen um, and also having on demand or acute treatment um, with you at all times so that you can treat at the first sign of symptoms um, so that you will nip that attack in the bud and that you will be able to continue um, leading as normal and healthy a life as you possibly can. Another really important um, thing that I would recommend for all of you to do is to keep an HAE journal. Um, this will help you and your healthcare team to keep you well and healthy. Um, sometimes writing down your feelings and emotions can help you cope with the uncertainty um, that you can get when you live with something like HAE. And as a bonus, keeping track of your attacks helps you identify potential triggers that may spark um, breakthrough attacks or episodes of HAE. It helps us and you monitor the efficacy of your treatment regimens that you're on, um, and therefore we can um, assess and evaluate your response to treatment and if necessary we can tinker or change your treatment to get you the best treatment possible um, in order for you to live as healthy and well as possible. Know your triggers. This is really very important. Knowing your triggers can help you live very well and healthily. Um, so common triggers like we all know Emotional triggers um, are, or emotional stress can, can be a big trigger um, for lots of different people. So take steps to, to limit and relieve emotional stress. Try not to take on more obligations at work or home um, than you can comfortably manage. Strive to make time for stress relieving activities such as yoga, reading or quality time with loved ones. Um, this should also help to um, avoid fatigue and help prevent HAE symptoms from occurring. Some patients know um, that their triggers can be um, due to infections, whether that be viral, bacterial. Um, I put Helicobacter there because sometimes if you have that particular um, bacterial um, in or bug in your in your gut that can um, lead to an increased um, frequency of attacks. So if you're having lots of abdominal attacks, it's important that your GP or your specialist centre should screen you for that. 
Um, and also, for example, some patients might need to start on a course of antiviral medications if they get regular cold sores, for example, and um, because they know that um, getting cold sores and that type of viral infection usually increases their, their risk of having um, facial or lip swellings. Um, surgery or dental work and um, it's very important that you prepare wisely for this if you have dental work or other medical procedure scheduled you must let your healthcare team know um, and they might prescribe medication to lower your risk um, of getting breakthrough attacks um, because of the additional trauma that you might incur um, and good dental hygiene in general is also extremely important um, for you if you if you have HAE um, as oral infections or problems problems with your teeth and gums we know can are likely to trigger HAE symptoms or attacks. So visit your de dentist regularly and keep up with good oral hygiene. Exercise and diet is important not just for people with HAE but for everyone. Um, however, we know that people with HAE have a higher than average risk um, for anxiety and depression. And research demonstrates that incorporating regular exercise into your life can boost and improve mood and mental health. Um, and this, I think, combined with a healthy balanced diet can help keep your um, body mass index within normal limits and lower your risk of getting other chronic conditions. Um, and finally, I think it's a really good idea to have um, support systems if you're living with HAE, but with other, you know, with all kind of chronic conditions, but specifically we're talking about HAE today. Um, sometimes people um, might feel alone, but it's really, really important to say that you are not alone. So you might feel alone, but you're definitely not alone. And um, there are there is wonderful um, support systems out there. We have our wonderful HAE community um, with their online forums and groups that can help support people living with HAE and other family members. So join these support groups if you're not already a part of them. I would say connecting with other people who live with HAE may give you a sense of social and emotional support um, and they will also be able to help share practical tips um, you know, with you for, for managing um, whatever might be going on um, with you at that particular moment. Um, and also you know, talk to your friends, family, colleagues and employers because they can help to they can help you to um like make adjustments to your working patterns um in order for you to perhaps manage your HAE more effectively um that might mean um you know, allowing you to work more from home and um, to have a better work life balance to relieve stress to help you go for medical appointments etc so all of these support systems are out there um, and I would encourage you to use them and and to get the best um to get the best kind of outcomes and to help you lead a fit and healthy life living with HAE. So thank you for listening today and um, I will hopefully um, be able to see you live on the um, HAE question and answer session um, for our 10th anniversary. So thank you very much and goodbye. <laughs>